Dear Pisces, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I want to thank you, Holy Spirit, for your gift and for your guidance. On behalf of the Pisces Collective, that's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what messages do you have for the Collective in the coming week for anyone seeking guidance? It is a general reading. Feel free to schedule a personal reading if you'd like at the number 4, love.info. Alternatively, you can check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign on the channel as well for additional messages. Dear Pisces, crone, old lady, wisdom, okay, hottie, ooh, I already see what's happening. Elza, Pisces, is somebody seeing somebody younger than them, okay? It's depicted as female, male here, but it could be vice versa, it could be any which way, you do your thing, okay, dear Pisces. Let's get one more, and Shadow Queen, ooh. Okay, Divine Feminine Energy. In the shadows, wearing the crown though, shadow queen. So in the darkness, in the dark night of your soul, you're experiencing otherworldly pleasures perhaps. You're experiencing newfound freedoms or senses that maybe have been lied, ador lying dormant um, for some time, okay? So the feminine energy is coming out and I do feel like it's this hottie that's bringing it about. It could be somebody you're very interested in, dear Pisces that has you feeling a way. Maybe this is also a private kind of scenario where it's not fully out in the open, but the feelings are being felt. They're surfacing. You're growing a sensitivity to somebody in a newfound connection, perhaps. Let's get more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is present energy surrounding their Pisces, whomever they might be thinking of. What doesn't their Pisces know about a connection at present, as well as We'll take a glimpse at the recent past, what's coming in near future, as well as the potential final outcome with the energies at present. Okay. I can speak English. I can speak English. I can speak English. Knight of Swords, you guys. Decisive action. Yeah. Somebody's like, you know what? You're mine. You know what I mean? I had you. I, I, I experienced you in that way. You're mine. Ace of Coins. Exactly. Somebody might just be offering you. Um, a chance to get to know them in a more permanent way. Seven of Cups, unbeknownst to you. So this person likely has other options outside of you, unbeknownst to you. But they are still wanting to commit and offer a chance to, to get to know them, okay? So the thing is, you guys, people be... All the time. Every single day I talk to somebody, they think, oh, well, he was seeing me. Then why is he talking to her? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys... You're quite literally single until you're married, okay? So uh, it just is what it is, society-wise, at least. In America, that's how it is, okay? So even on your, like, job application, if you were together with somebody for 20 years but you never went to court and got married and got that certificate signed, guess what? You are single, you know what I mean? Like, So anywho, I say that to say this. Um, if somebody is a hottie in your life, cool, but they have um, the ability of being a hottie in someone else's life too. Unfortunately, we can't really control the object of our desires, dear Pisces, but it does look like somebody is offering you some form of stability in this connection, okay? Yes, they have more options than you in case you were wondering. In the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups, but they decisively came to swoon you, swoop you off your feet, dear Pisces, okay? At the top of your situation today, ooh, Alchemist, the magician energy here. All tools at your disposal to get this person to be yours and only, and only yours if that's what you desire right now, all right? The connection is deep enough. It's profound enough. There's a start of something... Uh, stable enough with the Ace of Pentacles offer here that you can trust um, these options will be non null and void so long as you make up your mind, all right? What's happening in the near future? Ooh, Two of Cups, love, and that's what it is. I feel like you guys are going to be getting closer together with somebody. You're going to help them get rid of a third party or they're going to help you get rid of the third party. But it will be just the two of us, A. Hey, we can make it if we try. Okay, in the near future, they're Pisces. Now, how you view yourself? Ooh, devil energy, though. Okay. Are we loaded? I'm definitely clarifying. Because why would you look at yourself like the devil unless you lusted after this person so much? So, hello, they are a hottie. I understand. <laughs> why is the devil here for their Pisces, thematically speaking? Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
whoa, 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 and whoa. The snake flipped, so it says, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. Last but very not least, the other woman. And so there you have it, okay? Why you feeling like a little devil or whatever is because guess what? For some of you, you are the other woman. For some of you, you know this. And for some of you, you don't mind it. <laughs> because who is making you feel good in the shadows, divine feminine? This divine masculine, perhaps, okay? So that's somebody's story. How are you being viewed at this time? The moon. There you go, Pisces. You're being viewed as if uh, there's so much more to you to discover, to uncover. You seem to have depth to this individual. This is why they might just put their other options aside. All right, but um, I still want more also on the moon because the moon is always an iffy, tricky, you know, energy here. Let's get the energy. Why is the moon here? <laughs> energy behind the moon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As how dear Pisces, this person is viewing them right now. Ooh, happy family. <laughs> There's so much more depth to you. Okay. I did see the two lions reminding me of Simba and Nala. Tigers here. Whatevs. You guys, it's a happy family vibe. Your person is viewing you as so much more than just like one of the others. You're a standout. Look at this. Woman holding a heart at the bottom. You're a standout, Divine Feminine. The 44. 4, 4, 8. Might mean something to somebody, okay? But woman holding a heart, dear Pisces. You are giving of your love. And so you are attracting this divine love. You are attracting this sensational person in your life to want you and only you. And, um, you know, I feel like that's what's happening with the two of cups being in your near future, cutting out the other options because the, the pull, the lure towards you is so strong. So keep laying it on thick. If you do have someone in your life right now, dear Pisces, uh, because, uh, I feel like it's going to move from the shadows and into the light here with this relationship. Let's get more your hope or your fear. Woo, wise one. Okay, this is the Hierophant energy. This is a secret lover energy. This is a secret that the pape keeps. You know, like when you go to confession, if you were born a Catholic, you go speak to the priest, you confess. This is something they never reiterate to anyone else, right? So you and your person's secret is safe with the pape, okay? This is all meant to bring you closer together. I do feel like this relationship is moving out of the shadows and coming into the light. And the final outcome for you in the coming week, my loves, we have the seven of swords. There's some deception here, okay? There's still some deception here. I do feel like because this person has those other options that you might not have known about, this is why they may be uh, hard to come by or hard to grasp, dear Pisces, okay? There is some deception. I do want to clarify the Seven of Swords for dear Pisces, all right? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's the T on the Seven of Swords for dear Pisces as a final outcome? What is the deception? And we have Parrot. It says, someone will gossip about all your secrets. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> You know, I'm so done because right here with the Hierophant was your hope. And I'm like, okay, well, your hope is that, you know, secret lover, the secret stays safe with the pape. Usually that's what happens at confession. I just gave y'all the whole spiel. Well, this is your hope or your fear, okay? But the actual final outcome is there will be deception. Someone will spill your secrets. So dear Pisces, if you're romancing someone in private, divine feminine, if you are a shadow queen in this relationship, trust me, this hottie in you is gonna come forward. Why? First of all, you have an ace of coins here, so this is something um, commitment forward. So maybe this person just says, you know what, I'm tired of seeing you in private. I don't care. Let's post a pic on Instagram or something like that. You know, I mean, it's just going to come forward. This person's not going to care. If you guys only go to their house, you guys are going to be seen in public together, you know, things of that nature. But also, 
it's gonna come out period i think is why also maybe the person is gonna be inclined to say okay let's come out with our relationship period because yes someone will spill the secret sorry that your hope was that it would stay with the pape but it looks like someone will spill the secret if you're seeing somebody in the shadows my dear queen uh, okay, the crone and the hottie, you guys, your little love uh, intimacy affair, your little connection is coming out to the surface, okay? Just be mindful. Don't be surprised if it happens. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is their fortune? Fortune for the coming week for dear Pisces. This connection is getting thicker. You guys might be eliminating other options in this person's life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fortune for dear Pisces in the coming week if they were led to this message. Talk about eliminating other options. And it says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Dear Pisces, I wouldn't worry about anything coming out because it's meant to be out because this person is your soulmate. Dear Pisces, enjoy each other and be blessed. <laughs> Peace.